Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss taunts and of course this new altar that looks to be on the way. If you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course leave the video with a like. So we're going to quickly start off by just explaining to anyone who doesn't quite understand the difference between a loopable taunt and a non-loopable taunt because this is going to be quite relevant. The best example of a loopable taunt is the naval commander class. As you can see ability 2 is what applies a taunt. It causes the enemy to focus its fire on you and this is incredibly useful useful for challenge fights in making sure that your team survive. The reason Naval Commander's taunt is loopable is because the skill itself has a 6 second cooldown whereas the taunt lasts for 10 seconds meaning that the skill is going to refresh before the taunt and then you can apply stacks of it. Which is why you can see we have got 6 debuffs against the dragon as opposed to just the one which is when we move on to Chaos Avenger. As you can see we have only got the one bit of focus there applied. However with this class this one isn't loopable due to the skill cooldown being at 35 seconds whereas the taunt only lasting for 10 meaning you have got 25 seconds without a taunt and that 25 could be quite a challenge if you're not very good at timing these out. Now why is this all relevant? This is all relevant because with the latest updates that we're getting to classes as you can see they are going to be phasing out or at least planning to phase out loopable taunts. The logic behind this being is this will inevitably make challenge fights more difficult because your taunter is actually going to have to time these instead of just being able to skill spam like you could pre with naval. I personally, I'm not really too sure how I feel about this. I think it's going to be one of those things that when a challenge boss comes out, it's going to be an absolute pain like Champion Dracov where you can't loop a taunt. Only then we will discover quite how annoying it is. Obviously at the moment that's not currently a major issue, but it is worth saying that it is more than doable to defeat the challenge fights that require a taunt with skill timing instead, but it just means it can take that a little bit longer if your taunter is not using their skill at the right time. Of course, bear in mind the Chaos Avenger taunt will be changing again, which I suspect will just be attached to a different skill, so the cooldown can be slightly less. Anyway, let's move on to this one by Lay. So as you can tell, this is a new altar, and that looks very suspiciously like Valdred, Pauldron Skulls, and indeed his blade sticking out the top so we can almost guarantee this is going to have the quest that we're going to need to do in order to get the Vordred set that we have been promised. Now unless I've totally missed it I cannot say what the requirements are going to be for this yet. If they're like any of the previous altars you could probably gamble that it's going to be going along getting a particular item and just turning it in a load of times for a really low drop rate item. Or indeed, for all we know, it could be a brand new chain of farming quest for those endgame players who want something else to do. So, we'll just have to wait and see. But as soon as I get an update on that, I will, of course, let you all know. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Leave the video a like and, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you all again incredibly soon.